right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, this IMO seminar on the development of a regulatory framework for maritime autonomous surface ships, MASS. Uh, we have more than 400 registered participants on this two-day seminar. My name is Henrik Tanfors. I'm a senior advisor at the Swedish Transport Agency and also uh, the current chair of the uh, MSE Mass Working Group. And I've been the, the, the chair for the Mass Working Group since the beginning in, I think, 2018. Uh, and I will also have a role in the upcoming joint working group uh, to be in session this week. So the aim of this seminar is to share insights on regulatory barriers and uncertainties encountered by national administrations and industry for mass projects currently undertaken or, or planned for the future and how such obstacles can be overcome by establishing an international legal framework to regulate the operation of mass. But before we delve into the issues and the presentations of today, I would like to invite Mrs. Heike Degen, Director of Maritime Safety, Nikke. Thank you very much, Henrik. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the online seminar on the development of a regulatory framework for maritime autonomous surface ships, the so-called MAS. I'm not surprised to see that we have almost 500 registered participants. This is certainly one of the most exciting technical developments I am always currently working on. I also note that the audience present today is extremely diverse, as it should be, including maritime administrations, industry experts, shipping companies, academia, and the wider maritime community. The IMO committee is currently involved in developing regulations for MAS are the Maritime Safety Committee, the Legal Committee, and the Facilitation Committee of IMO. Each of the three committees completed a regulatory scoping exercise of the instruments under their purview for the use of MAS. This was necessary to lay the foundation for the further work by identifying gap gaps in existing IMO instruments that will need to be addressed in order to allow autonomous ships to operate safely. Now that the scoping exercises have been completed, the three committees will be moving forward with the development of new regulations and any necessary changes to existing ones to address mass operations. The Maritime Safety Committee, the leading IMO organ on the matter, approved a new output on development of a goal-based instrument for maritime autonomous surface ships with a target completion year of 2025. The committee agreed that as a first step, it will commence the development of a non-mandatory goal-based mass code and following its completion, will then work towards a mandatory code for adoption by the committee with an envisaged entry into force date of 1st January, 2028. The legal and facilitation committees have also each included new outputs on measures to address mass in the instruments under their purview in their respective biennial agendas. Likewise, with a target completion year of 2025, this seminar leads up to the first joint mass working group of the MSC, FAL and LEG committees that will start on Wednesday of this week. Although the joint working group meeting is only open to member states and international organizations in consultative status with IMO, we recognize that mass regulatory developments are of huge interest to the industry at large. We are confident that the input and ideas of the industry and regulatory experts participating in this seminar will be a significant influence on the deliberations in the joint working group. With this in mind, we look forward to gaining perspectives on the regulatory barriers and uncertainties that national administrations and the industry are faced with, as well as using this opportunity 
to discuss how any obstacles can be overcome so that an effective and practical international legal framework to regulate the operation of autonomous ships can be established and implemented. Day one of the seminar will look at the practical aspects of operating Mars, including what future Mars operations will look like and current developments in Mars technology. On day two, we will take a deep dive into the legal and regulatory framework on how best to regulate Mars operations. At the end of each panel, 15 minutes have been set aside for questions and answers. I encourage you to share your perspective on the topics discussed during the seminar so that we may arrive at constructive solutions. I understand that there are some queries about physical meetings and seminar arrangements at IMO headquarters. In this regard, the Secretary General has announced that in-person meetings at headquarters will resume from 14 September 2022. IMO's Council has also agreed on the introduction of hybrid meeting capabilities to complement in-person meetings for a trial period of one year. However, this seminar and the subsequent joint working group meeting will be held virtually, whereby participants may choose to follow the discussions from the IMO building if they so wish. It now only remains for me to wish you all every success as you embark on your work over the next two days. Today's seminar is a great opportunity for collaboration among our member states and all the stakeholders in the maritime sector. I would also like to thank all the speakers and presenters for generously contributing to this event. It now gives me great pleasure to declare this seminar open. Thank you very much. Thank you, Heike, uh, Mrs. Degem. <clears throat> now some uh, housekeeping issues for this seminar. It will be held in English only there will be no interpretation provided uh, during today or tomorrow. And it will also be recorded. Uh, that's for the purposes for us to properly be able to report to the joint working group any conclusions or inputs that we feel is prudent for the joint working group meeting. So I hope you can agree to that. Uh, if you don't, then you're all free to opt out uh, from the seminar, of course. And to help us identify you, please indicate your organization and your name in the name display. And if you want to rename yourself, uh, you can do this by clicking the participants list uh, and then you right click on your name to rename. For example, if, if, uh, if you're from Panama, you write Panama. And if your name is George Brown, you write Panama-George Brown. Or if, if it's an NGO, it could be Greenpeace International. George Brown, or if you're independent, it's you can write just your name, for example, George Brown, and that you're a master of a convog ship, for example. For presenters, uh, you may share your presentations and slides when given control by the secretariat uh, helping out. For the other participants, uh, please mute your microphone and switch off your cameras as to minimize disruptions to the connectivity of the seminar. If you have questions, for example, for the, pan for the panel, please put your question in the Zoom chat. The moderator, that is me, uh, will post these questions to the presenters who will answer your question during the Q&A segment. And there's a Q&A segment after, after each uh, theme, so to say. The raise hand function will not be used. And depending on the speaker's consent, we will make the presentations available after the seminar. Furthermore, on the arrangements of the meeting, the outcome of the seminar, as mentioned by Ms. Degem, it will be reported to the first meeting of the Joint Working Group on Mass. This will commence this week on Wednesday, the 7th of September, and last for three days until Friday. This Joint Working Group has been established by three of the IMO's committees who are, who are currently working on Mass. That's the Maritime Safety Committee, the Legal Committee, and the Facilitation Committee. 
So we look forward to all your constructive input here today and tomorrow. And uh, I'm sure for, for myself that it will be very beneficial for the discussions in the joint working group meeting. The time schedule is very tight. And uh, the schedule for today is set from 11 London time until 3 p.m. And we will have a five minute break between each panel. And day one of this seminar is organized in three panels, each having four speakers. And as mentioned, there will be a 15 minute Q&A session after each panel. So the first panel will be on practical perspectives of operation of mass. The second panel will, be, will give us uh, the industry perspective, a status report on mass technology and outlook for future mass operations. Panel number three will be on research and development. So having said that, it's now time to start the first panel and uh, on practical perspectives of operation mass. And it's my, it's my pleasure to introduce the first speaker, Mrs. Anne Mietinen. Anne is a senior ministerial advisor in the automation unit of the Ministry of Transport and Communications of Finland. And she is the head of the Finnish delegation to IMO's facilitation committee. Her presentation has the title, Delineating Mass from Conventional Automation. And it discusses the scope of the mass code, current techno technological development and coexistence with, of mass with conventional vessels and many, many other things. And before I give the floor to Anne, uh, this is my last housekeeping matter. Uh, we will, we will uh, highlight when there are two minutes left for, for, of time for, for Anna and for each speaker. Uh, we intentionally, in, the intention was first to have a, some sort of uh, a yellow exclamation mark being shown in the, in the, uh, in the virtual meeting, but uh, we will intervene, I will intervene when, there, when you have two minutes left, just so that, to let you know when to sort of wrap things up. So by saying that, I give the floor to Anna. Thank you for being here and sharing your insights with the, with the mass seminar. Thank you, Anna. Uh, good, good afternoon, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Anna Mietinen from the Ministry of Transport and Communications of Finland Automation Unit. And I hope you can see my presentation. Uh, and um, uh, I have a pleasure to tell you about what ideas we have in, in Finland about delineating mass from conventional automation. The question that I will speak about is what we talk about when we talk about mass concept in the context of mass code in order to de determine its scope. Second, I will talk about realism needed with the incremental process of developing mass. Third, I will continue with safe coexistence with, with the, uh, bit, between mass and conventional ships and mass infrastructure. Fourth, I will give an example on lookout function since mass code should be function based. And fifth, couple of words concerning essential tools to enable trust. So we have to, we need to build a common understanding on mass concept. In order to be able to do that, we need to discuss about mass in relation to technology in use today and in future, and in relation to other vessels and mass infrastructure in the future. This will clarify understanding what is the level of automation that will trigger the need for and application of the future mass code. Significant automation is already in use, for example, machinery control and monitoring, 
So the question is how new technologies can be taken into use without the mass code just by amending existing regulations slightly. I believe that reduced level of involvement of human, humans in decision making and particularly safe control chains between man and machine is the most, most important trigger to new mass code. It is realism to understand that the adoption of new technologies is an incremental process. Technological development is ongoing and regulation should make it possible to take up new technologies in a safe, efficient and sustainable manner. I believe that technology will always work alongside humans performing certain tasks in different functions. Some uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse yeah. me. The can you can you see my slide? Yes, we can see the first page only. I think you need. You, I think you need to change to uh, uh, another mode, presentation mode in in the. Uh, uh, in the program, uh, just PowerPoint. Okay. So, so it's. So you you don't see my slides. No, you. I think you're presenting. Maybe you're presenting, but not on the screen that you're showing, in the seminar. Mm -hmm. So we, if you want to, we can present it from here. Uh, can, can you see it now? I can't see. I only see the first page. Okay. I see. Uh, it's better that you you can show the the show. Yeah. So we'll okay. we'll do that. Thank you very oh, no. much. I'm sorry. Um, we don't use this Zoom in in our organization, so I ha I haven't earlier. No problem. But now actually we see coexistence of mass with conventional vessels and mass infrastructure. So now I think we see the slide you were talking about. Okay, but, but perhaps I, I continue my... Uh, my I, I don't want to... Uh, sorry. So it takes take so much time. Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience, Anne, but...